This is one of the most powerful systems in the game today. It's called the Nasdaq Payback System by Classic Forex Trader himself. Now all you have to do is watch this video and see how powerful the system is. Let's get straight into today's video. Now thank you for your support. Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed and also please do turn on your notification so that when we ever we are uploading a new video you will be the first to see it or you will be the first to know about our new content that is on YouTube. Okay, so this week we are reviewing the Nasdaq Payback System by Classic Forex Trader himself. And what I can say about this, it is a very powerful indicator, expert advisor, whatever you want to call it. It is the bomb. Okay, it works very well with Nasdaq. But also what I've seen is that the guy does trade it with currency pairs as well. So what you're going to need first is your Renko. Okay, Renko Live Chart. Okay. So what I've done is I have added the Renko from version 3.14. If you can see up here, um, Renko, oh, Renko live chart version 3.4. So I've added it and made it Renko version 4.13. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's not in my indicator window. I have put it in my expert advisor. Why is that that I've put it in my expert advisor? Is because it's a robot. It works the same as the other one. Okay, you're going to have to put it in the expert advisor so that it can change the the way your chart looks. Okay, so what are the key aspects of Renko? Okay, Renko is designed to take out market noise. It is designed to make your chart look better without all the noise. So it's like when you look at a picture and it's scribbled on, you do not have a clear picture in your mind what the artist was trying to do so that's what Renko does it just takes out all the market noise such as your um, rejection areas your support areas the ones that will make you that will confuse you in this market okay so we're going to press okay so what you need to do let me start all over is you need to bring this over onto your Nasdaq chart and press yes okay then it's going to bring up this box okay so in this box there's a few things that you need to change and obviously you need to go to common and we need the long and short positions and then obviously you need to put allow dll and allow modification of signals so why we allowing this to happen on our charts is so that when the computer or the expert advisor works on your chart is that it can allow itself to do most of the modifications for you if you leave one unallowed it will definitely not work okay that's why we're allowing it to work with this chart then go to inputs and the first thing that you'll notice is that with the old one what we had to do is we needed to go onto the file and create a new time frame so with this one Renko time frame is there already I have already inserted that for you and obviously if you want to change the box you may change it but I would allow it to stay at the size it is which is 10.0 if you want to make it bigger you can make it bigger if you want to make it smaller you can make it smaller but for this for this size I think it's the best fit for the Renko okay so what is the next thing we need to find the time frame. So why am I choosing time frame 2? So time frame 2 is basically not part of the MetaTrader world. Okay, we're normally used to seeing 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minutes. So the reason why I'm using 2 minute is because between 1 and 5, there are, there are minutes that um, MetaTrader 5 is not giving us. So I'm using this because it's the best time frame to use with the Renko or with the Nasdaq payback system okay so once you click OK you're going to get a sad face okay you're going to get the sad face and the reason why you're getting the sad face is because of what the Renko is trying to tell us so what it's trying to tell us is that we are still on the five minute chart and obviously that it's not on the two minute chart so how are you going to install a two minute chart on MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4 you're going to have to click on file go to open offline and there you can see we have the two minute chart so add that to your charts and you'll say open 
and then you'll have this so i don't like the grid so that's why i just took it off and this is what you're going to get so now you can see there's not that much of market noise you are getting the clear indication of everything that's happening currently. You can see it's smooth in the way it moves up or in the way it moves down. It's giving you perfect, perfect, perfect analysis. It's giving you perfect direction of the market. Okay. So two things to take note of is that your support and your support and resistance are very clear to see. And obviously you can also see your trend lines will fit perfectly in within this structure okay so what you can do is if you are a person like me that that's not lazy and doesn't just like using indicators i normally spot these ones first i normally look for my support and resistance areas so where the highs or the lows of the day are i normally fill that ones in so that i can see where price will break or where price will be easier for me to attack okay so let's add more just to show you so these are all my support areas right these are all my support areas so i'm i'm spotting them as i'm going because i can see where there are mo the most touches or where there are the highs and the lows of the day so this is all you do you have spotted your your support and resistance areas so there is not much more for you to do okay you support you have seen the highs you have seen the lows so what are you using this for you are using this to capitalize on when price touches it as soon as it touches that area you would normally know when to buy or when to sell it makes it easier for you to see when it will be time for you to buy or when it will be time for you to sell so when what I mean by this is if that's just for you, if you are analyzing the market with a better perspective of why are you, why are you using um, price action in that way, okay? So you do not need to add everything onto your chart. So now basically you can see your support and resistance areas, okay? So what else do you need? So what I've done is I have not put all the indicators in there. I have seen that there is a template that um, he has designed, so I'm using that template to get everything on to my chart. So you can see once you have installed the template, you do not have to add all those indicators. It's already done for you once you have added the template. So the template will do everything for you that you don't have to do. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch off my Wi-Fi to backtest this to show you what I mean by all this. Okay. So, okay, let's begin with the analysis. So why, why are we using Renko? Okay, Renko, like I said, it's to take away the market noise. It's to give you proper direction of a sell or proper direction of a buy. Okay, and then obviously you're going to get a moving average that has been added into the Renko system. So how do you use it? Okay, so when there is a crossover of this moving average, so this moving average has added the rankle to itself. So basically when this has crossed over, okay, you would look for a breakout so that you can take a short sell or a long sell depending on how long the market is trending in that direction. Okay, and then obviously if you want to take a buy, you would wait for the market to cross over okay for you to take a buy and if you want to take a sell obviously you'd have to wait for the crossover of the moving average Renko so that you can take a sell okay so that is very straightforward and you can obviously see what I mean by that now obviously if you are going to um, take a sell you need to first find this pivot point and obviously your ATR okay so when your pivot point touches or immediately when it shows up you need to look for the red okay when it's red it means that it's time for you to sell so when it's red you do not just enter you wait for the second line okay when there, there'll be um, blocks of blue following the red one so after the the, the red uh, candle after the two, two minutes are done you will get another blue one and you can take a sell okay on the second confirmation of the blue block and then if you want to take a buy, you would wait for it to be green. And after it is green, you would take a buy on the red block after the green one is completed. Okay, so 
what else do you need to know so now once we have established that you need to find the directions and the only way you can find directions in NASDAQ basically is by going to this website so I have showed you guys on the cheat codes how to use this and from that I have also used it to see how I can fit it in with the NASDAQ payback system okay so like I said the first thing we need to realize is what is the headlines on NASDAQ so what I saying is weekly preview will stocks continue to rise in 2021 so they're asking a question but they're also giving you a clear indication of they are expecting it to rise so what are we doing we're looking for an uptrend in the nasdaq perspective okay and then let's go down we do not need this we do not need this the only thing we need is to find what are the five big boys doing so today the five big boys are actually buying and it's only Russell that is selling so out of the five it's a five it's a four out of five so which means that we do have a clear indication of the trend going up so how would you capitalize on this you would go back to your chart and when it's time to buy okay when the green candlestick appears you can take a buy and know for sure that for the day I'm going to have proper 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 entries okay so once that is done you can take a short sell and you know when the when the other one comes back you would take a buy and then you would hold the buy because now you have one position opened here and one position here and then if you want to sell you are allowed to sell but do not hold it long like I said to you the trend is an uptrend so you would wait for it to cross over again and then once it has crossed you take a buy and close your sell order and hold that as well so you can see how many times you could do that you can sell here buy there hold the buy position close the sell position sell here and then buy and then hold the buy position so that's basically how you use the system it's very simple it's straightforward I don't think there's a lot of explanation for me to dive into the only thing that you must mainly focus on is does the Renko chart have the proper um, support and resistance areas that will keep you in the trade okay it's very powerful very simple uh, have a wonderful day